IES Abroad Santiago students and IES Abroad Santiago alumni. Uh, we are really happy for this opportunity to be able to contact you and share with you some of your uh, treasured memories and uh, maybe crazy or adventurous experiences that you had while you were studying here in IES Santiago. Uh, wonderful memories, wonderful treasures, and wonderful learnings that you had. Uh, without further ado, I would like you to, I would invite you to watch this video. Remember the day when you first arrived at the airport, Arturo Merino Benitez, and you were so lost and tired after such a long flight from home or your school. The next day, your host family escorted you to the IS Center that is just half a block from the metro station called Manuel Mont. At the center, we were there waiting for you. You got to see the center, which we fortunately got funds to remodel during the last three years. You must recall the entrance with a chimney and a welcome wall that Claudia, one of our Spanish faculty, prepared specially for you. You saw the classrooms and Angela's office where you would come several times to get all your credits straight. We had a welcome breakfast just ready for you in the big room. And then you got to see the student lounge that is called Kawi, a Mapuche word that means gathering. And in Chilean slang, it also means gossip. And I think maybe a party. Then you went to the kitchen. Remember where Senora Sonia used to offer her empanada classes. The reality in Chile right now is very similar to all over the world due to COVID. However, we hope things will get better. We are proud to share that Chile is one of the leading countries with number of people vaccinated. We would like to invite you to actively participate in giving this study abroad opportunity to other students who would not be able to do so without the scholarships we offer. Thus, you can help change the life of a student. Together with your support and our commitment, we can help future leaders make this world a better place. This is the reason why we need your support. Un abrazo grande from IES Santiago. Hasta pronto. Hi, I'm John Hudson, Center Director for IES Buenos Aires. I'm here on the banks of the Rio de la Plata, only about 20 minutes away from our center. It's been a tough year in Argentina as it has been around the world, but we're optimistic for 2022. I speak for myself, our staff, faculty, homestay families when I say that we're eager to receive students again in 2022. We've even refurbished our center. We've done this just before the pandemic struck. So we're eager to share that with our students. On behalf of all the staff, faculty, and our homestay families, I'd like to thank all our friends and alumni that have supported us and continue to support us, particularly in helping students experience a life-changing event that otherwise they would not have been able to uh, undertake. So thank you very much, and we hope to see some of you back here in Buenos Aires sometime soon. Hello, hola, I am Tanya Leathergerber. Since 2018, I am the Center Director for the IS Abroad Quito and Galapagos Island Center here, right in the middle of the world, Ecuador. This is the capital of Ecuador. Hola, hello, I am Jimena Paredes the Student Affairs Coordinator in Quito. I'm in charge of the placement, trips, different activities, and the well-being of the students. I'm also responsible for the customized program. I'm really looking forward to see you soon. Bye, ciao. Hi, I am Cristina Lopez, the Student Affairs Coordinator on the Galapagos Island. I am in charge of housing of students and the well-being when they are on site here on the island. Now with the virtuality, I am in charge too of the internships program and uh, social media of our center. 
presente. Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes con todos. Soy Juan Carlos Sánchez, pertenezco a Fundación IES Ecuador Quito Galápagos, esperándoles que vengan pronto acá a visitarnos a nuestro país. Yo me encargo de hacer el mantenimiento y la limpieza de las oficinas y también les los llevo a diferentes lugares de aquí, de Quito, qué busco, a dónde trasladarse o a las universidades. And we are located in a very commercial area with a, a park next to the center and uh, very good uh, facilities to tra for transportation of students, accommodation, and also malls, etc. We will, I would like to invite you to visit our center and also to learn more from what we're doing. We continue offering our area studies and language program, our direct enrollment program in Quito and in the Galapagos. We also have a J-term program, a summer program, the customized program, and newly also the virtual internship program as well. We are always here uh, for the students and we, we consider that study abroad is a great experience. In a country such, so, so small as Ecuador with four different regions where all of our classes feature different activities for field trips, field studies, and activities where students can visit the four regions of Ecuador. We are also uh, in the light of the pandemic we, we have different protocols. We are, have started our plan of vaccinations and we all have also elected our new president, which he, he will be uh, in power in May 24 of this year, Guillermo Lasso. So hopefully this will also give a light to new opportunities for students in the politics and the social aspects and in different terms of activities that the students can do. We also have our group of panas, which is the local students that engage with IES students in different opportunities and help us to uh, support students uh, uh, visiting the different activities, uh, cultural activities, community activities, environmental parks, and all the wonders that we have uh, as, as, as our Ecuador country offers to students. Thank you very much always for your opportunity, that opportunity to visit us and also to share your own culture with us and your own activities with us as well. Hasta pronto. Chao, chao. Gracias.